Good morning, today's lesson is 2.9. Today we are gonna divide mixed numbers. Our essential question, how do you divide a mixed number? Let's unlock the problem. A box weighing nine and one third pound contains robot kits weighing one and one sixth pound a piece. How many robot kits are in the box? Well, first, let's underline the sentence that tells you what you're trying to find. What you're trying to find is, how many robot kits are in the box? Next, let's circle the number that you need to solve the problem. Well, the numbers that I need is I need to know that the box, the whole box weighs nine and one third, and that each kit weighs one and one sixth. So I'm going to divide nine and one third is gonna be divided by one and one sixth. If I wanna estimate the quotient, nine and one third is closer to nine, and one and one sixth is closer to one, and so nine divided by one is nine, so my answer should be somewhere around nine. So first, to write the mixed number as a fraction. So you cannot you know, divide a whole and a fraction by a whole and a fraction. You need to just make it a fraction by a fraction. So first we need to rewrite the problem. Remember, we've done this before. So we're going to change nine and one third. We're gonna first multiply three times nine is 27 plus one, which is 28. So we have 28 thirds. And then to rewrite one and one six, we're gonna multiply six times one, which is six, plus this one, which is seven. So we get seven sixths. So we have 28 thirds divided by seven six. And then in our lesson that we did yesterday, remember that we can simply change the division symbol. We can multiply the inverse because division is the opposite of multiplication. So we're gonna we're going to multiply the inverse, right? So we're gonna switch this number around. So now we have twenty-eight over thirds times six over sevenths. Now always easier if you cross cancel. So I know that seven can go into seven one time and seven can go into 28 four times. I can also cross cancel the three and the six. Three goes into three one time and three goes into six two times. So now when I multiply it, I multiply it straight across, I get four times two, which is eight. And I get one times one, which is one. And eight over one is eight holes. So if I compare my estimate to the question, since my estimate nine is close to eight, the answer is reasonable. So there are eight robot kits in the box. Okay, let's do a few more. It says think, write the mixed numbers of fraction. So first of all, we've got two and one thirds divided by one sixth. So first I need to change the two and one third. So here I'm just gonna do it over here, two and one third. So I'm gonna multiply three times two is six, plus one is seven, so I'm gonna get seven thirds. So I've got seven thirds divided by one sixth. Okay, then I'm going to multiply the inverse. So I'm going to take my seven thirds, I'm going to make this be a multiplication problem, and I'm gonna multiply the inverse, six over one. Always better to cross cancel, that way I don't have to worry about reducing. I can't really cross cancel seven and one because they're already in their smallest form, but three and six I can because three can go into three and three can go into six. So three goes into three one time and three goes into six two times. So now I multiply straight across. Seven times two is 14. One times one is one. So it's 14 over one or 14. Okay, let's do the next one. I have five and three quarters. So I'm gonna make it bigger over here so you can see what I'm doing. So I need to change this into a mixed number or <clears throat> improper fraction. So five times four is 20, right? And then I add my three, so I get 23 over four. So I've got 23 over four divided by my three eighths. Now remember, I'm going to multiply the inverse so I'm going to take this, I'm going to change it to multiplication, and I'm going to switch this. Okay, so I'm going to get 
3 fourths times 8 over 3. Always better to see if you can reduce. I know 4 can go into 4 one time and 4 can go into 8 two times. So now I have 2 times 23, which is 46, and I have 3 times 1, which is 3. Okay, let me erase some of this little work over here. Okay, so I have four, 3... Okay, let's look at another example. Four hikers share three and one-third quart of water equally. How much did each hiker receive? So we're going to divide three and one-quarter by the four hikers. So let's check. Three and one-third is close to four. And four divided by four is one. So let's go ahead and work the problem out. So we're going to write a mixed number and then the whole number as a fraction. So we have three and one-third. Remember, 3 times 3 is 9, plus 1 is 10, so we're going to have 10 thirds divided by 4. Remember, because you just write a 1 underneath of it, over 1. So we have 10 thirds divided by 4 over 1. You can multiply the inverse. So we're going to multiply 1 over 4. Right? Now we can cross cancel. 3 and 1, there's nothing I can do there, but 4 and 10, I know that 2 can go into both of those numbers. 2 goes into 10 5 times, and 2 goes into 4 2 times. So now I have 5 times 1 and 3 times 2. 5 times 1 is 5, and 3 times 2 is 6. Now I can check my answer. 4 6 times 5 6 is 20 6, and 6 goes, goes into 20 3 times which is 18, and I would have two left over, um, and that would be 2 sixth, and I can now reduce the 2 sixth into 1 third, so I would get 3 and 1 third, which is what I started my answer with. So each hiker is going to receive 5 sixth quart. Now it says describe what you're trying to find in the example above. What I'm trying to find in the example above is how much water is in each four groups, right? And the next question asks, explain how dividing mixed numbers is similar to multiplying mixed numbers and how they are different. Well, one step in multiplying and dividing mixed numbers is to write the mixed number as a fraction. One step in mixed num dividing mixed numbers is to rewrite the problem as a multiplication problem. But multiplying mixed numbers does not need that step. And then finally, the divisor in a division problem is between 0 and 1, and the dividend is greater than 1. Will the quotient be greater than or less than the dividend? And let's explain. Well, it's going to be greater than, and that's because the divisor is between 0 and 1. The dividend will contain more groups the size of the divisor than it will contain groups of one. Okay, the rest of the problems are going to be with a partner or on your own. You can also come to me if you need any help. Good luck.